Welcome to my channel. This is Dia's Frugal Life and I'm Dia. Today's video is about the most extreme minimalist setup that I have come up as of yet. So I hope you enjoy. As usual, I don't typically keep anything up in the front. I like it clear. I like out of sight, out of mind. I don't want anybody trying to break in for any reason. But here's the good part. There is the most minimalist setup. Still being useful, still being able to cook and do everything that I need in here, guys. But this is it right here. How cute is that? So my kitchen area is now up at the front. And my bed is on the driver's side, which is not my favorite, but it works for this setup. And now the view from the back. This is pretty minimal here. I've got more pillows than anything else because I like them. But this is a pretty cool view. I always like the view from the very back to the very front. And not a lot of clutter. I have a few essentials here. This is my bed, guys. Very fluffy, very cushiony. And this is my storage area right here. Still have plenty of space to store clothing and food back here. And now we'll look from this side, from the passenger side. Not a lot going on here, which makes me happy. It just looks like an extreme minimalist lives here. And I don't think I'm an extreme minimalist, but that was the goal for this setup, guys. So let me get in here and kind of show you around. Tell me what y'all think about this one. Could you guys live this minimal? Would you need more things? So what I have here is my kitchenette. I ended up putting a bungee across here. Just if I need to hang any towels, have them air dry, hang something light, clothes, if I go to take a shower, the gym, whatever, if I need to hang anything that's damp, I will put it right there. I've got my trash can. Let's get closer here. I'll show you what I have. This is the Blue Eddy EB3A. It's 600 watts. I have the cords for that there. I've got a couple of microfiber towels that are just hanging on this bungee. And then I've got two shelves right here. Which the first one at the bottom has my, my bowl, which I can eat from and I can store food or whatever I need to, one bowl. I opted for glass with the lid. I opted for this one because it is four cups. It's large enough for just about everything that I eat. If I'm able to get a hold of a microwave, I can do that as well. And these are mason jars, which I have food in here. And I ended up purchasing these koozie type of material. I don't know what they're called, but that way they're not banging on each other. So this, I'm just storing food. Right here, I have oats. This one, I don't have anything. This one here, I've got peanut butter and jellies, little like snack packs. And this one, I have coffee, instant coffee and creamer, little packages that you would get at a, like a gas station. So in case that I don't get, go and get my, my coffee in the morning and I just want to stay in, I can just make my own coffee here. And one other thing, I try to stand these up, but it's too short here. I can make this fit right here and then I can stand them up, but then I don't have a spot for, for the battery. So I just, I just lay these down and put this in here. 
anyway and then hold it it holds really well with the bungees and this top one here take this one out so what I have in this one is some like paper plates extra plastic wear just in case I don't feel like using um, that container and I don't feel like washing I also have my spork in here this is my titanium metally spork that I will use I just had these already so I'm using them normally I'll just use my spork and I'll have either that Pyrex container or a Rubbermaid container and then of course this is a Dezen hot pot it is two liters so it's big enough to to cook just about anything that I typically eat it's pretty big bigger than my hand so a lot can fit in here I have an insulated tumbler which you can have cold drinks hot drinks whatever you want I've got the power cord that goes to the the dozen hot pot and the spatula that I came with I've got a knife I've got some silicone and plastic spoons that I can also use, depends on what I'm cooking. I've got a cutting board and I've got a can opener. And that's what I have in my kitchenette. I've got plenty of counter space. It's about a foot in depth. Over here, I have a little dustpan, a little broom, extra trash bags for my trash can. Here I have my uh, tripod. And behind here, I have my windshield cover for the very front window. And then as far as my bed, I have a few blankets that I can layer. I've got a very thin blanket that if it's not really cold, I can just put that one over. Then this is a more puffy blanket. And then of course I have my sleeping bag, which keeps me really, really warm. And if it's extremely cold, I will put both of these blankets inside the sleeping bag and zip it up and I get really toasty. Sometimes I get too hot. And then I just have this foam, this foam topper. I've got one, two, three, four of those, plus my trifold mattress. I actually have one of these sections from the trifold that I previously had cut in half, and I took the half out, so it's a lot shorter. It's not 75 inches in length currently. I took a whole foot off of there. So whatever 75 inches minus 12 inches thereabouts is the length of my, my bed right now. I wanted to try to have this seat up so then I don't have to have some different kind of seat in here because I don't have a bed frame with this setup. I'm basically on the ground. I don't have as comfortable area to sit because I like to sit up higher so I opted to put this this uh 40 side seat up but I was also tempted to put um the Coleman Comfort Smart cot under here and lift my bed up about a foot or so like that would be the only thing that I would add as far as my bed then on this side I have a uh, bedside table lamp and it fits down this way just because it's more narrow at the top so I just slide it in this way and then I just turn it on off and that's very helpful the remote and the charger is here right next to it it can do different colors so that's pretty cool over here I have my PJs plus extra toilet paper Now, if I feel like I need to get something from the back and I don't have a, a chance to open the, go outside and open the, the hatch back there, or I'm trying to be more discreet, 
I can always just lower the seat and then get whatever I need from here. Um, since I put the backrest down, I'll show you what I have here and what plans I have here. Right now I am storing my, my window covers here. I've got a Coleman chair and I've got a small folding table. That blue bag you see there is a backpack and that's where I'm gonna put my clothes and my hygiene, anything like that that I need. It expands to a pretty big backpack. And then this is a trunk organizer which has three compartments. Usually when I go grocery shopping, I will take that with me. Or if I don't take it with me, I will put it down here and then I'll set the bags of groceries and just stack them in those three. And then when I get a chance to organize, then I organize it, set it inside my fridge or put it wherever I need to put it. But that way they don't roll everywhere when I'm driving. So I'll set them in that. It's just as easy to set this seat back. And then when I'm sitting, I can pull this and adjust the, the backrest and push it back farther so I could be more comfortable. On this side, I keep a couple water bottles. Water is very important. I have some wipes. I have some Tylenol for in case I get a headache. I got extra toilet paper. I even have some USB plugs right here. And back here, I have super important, these uh, jumper cables. I've got an extension cord. I've got a tiny little heater in case it gets super cold because we're still kind of in the cold temperature of the year. I've got a hammock in case I'm able to find a couple nice trees and just kind of chill in a hammock yeah guys this is it right here pretty comfortable and then if you guys are wondering how I use the restroom well currently this is my trash can and my emergency potty at night so there you go Keeping it simple. Also my coat rack for my, my one to two jackets. I just hang it right there. Normally one of these two sides, I'll just hang my, my jackets there. Also back here, I have so much space, so much storage that when I get ready to go on my road trip coming up pretty soon, I'm gonna fill up my backpack if I need to have an extra bag a tote or something in addition then I can put it back here but I'm going to fill that backpack up with the clothing that I need for my road trip plus the hygiene things that I need for my road trip it'll all fit in there pretty nicely very very well because normally when I go fly anywhere take vacations that's what I do I travel super light I typically take one backpack and then kind of layer layer my clothing if it's cold then i wear my heaviest biggest clothing items on me and then i put everything else in the backpack plus my hygiene etc so that's all i have to do guys i just have to put my clothing in that blue backpack that you saw and then as far as groceries my food i'll just have another um reusable grocery bag that i will put the bare essentials that I need for the day, two, three days, however long I want to shop for. And then the last thing as far as groceries is once I put my fridge in here, then I will put refrigerated things in there and I will be good to go. But yeah, guys, that's it. This is the most extreme minimalist setup that I have come up with as of yet. We shall see if there, <laughs> if there's a future video coming up where I come up with even more of a minimalist setup, but I don't think I can top this as of now. <laughs> if I do, I will show it in the future. But anyhow, thanks so much for watching and I hope you have an awesome day, an awesome life, and I will talk to you on the next one. Bye guys. Thanks so much for watching Dia's Frugal Life. I'm Dia and if you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe for more future videos. You can also join the coffee club and be part of this awesome family. 
I go live on Sundays at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So make sure you stop by and say hi.